The belt does not dismiss you, okay? I do. Jason's got chewing gum. What's up guys, James here and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I believe it's been around about two weeks since my last upload and during that video I said that I was going to be uploading consistently so um, yeah, that's gone well. However, if you want to make sure that you are notified every time I upload a brand new video, which at the moment is random make sure you are subscribed to the channel with post notifications on and you will be notified when i do anyways guys since my last video did so well i thought i would stay on the topic of schools once again i am not a pedo we got him. in this video i'm going to be going through some secondary school problems that we've all experienced and uh if you live in america by the way that is like high school dude I would say the majority of you watching this video have either finished secondary school or you're still in secondary school and if you're any younger than that then I don't know why you're watching the video. When you're in secondary school you do face a lot of different problems. I know I had quite a few, the main one was probably bully stealing my lunch money but I'm sure you can all relate to that one any- yeah you can't relate to that can you? Apart from bullies, I do have quite a few secondary school problems that I will be featuring in this video. Hopefully the video's funny, relatable, maybe, it might not be. Before I do start though, credit for this video idea goes to a YouTuber called Johnny Kerry. I'm not original enough to think of my own video ideas to be fair. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the secondary school problems we've all experienced. Okay, so the first secondary school problem is strict teachers. Now we have all come across one of these, unless you were the nerd in the class and you brown nosed every teacher, then you would have had a bad experience with a strict one. For some really strange reason, the power completely gets to these teachers heads. They think they're some sort of lieutenant general in the f***ing army. Let's face it though, these teachers probably have something going on in their personal life. Normally like their partners left them. Either that or they just simply don't like kids at all, which makes you think, why did you become a teacher? Should have become a prison officer. The strict teachers normally get annoyed at you for literally the smallest of things. You could desperately need to go to the toilet like I'm talking you're about to all over the floor all over the teacher. They won't let you go though will they because you had break 30 minutes ago. Welcome back to school you bunch of worthless goons. Now I would ask you how your half term went. Quite frankly I don't care. Now get all your homeworks if you haven't done at least 1069 pages on the assignment then you will be getting an after school detention tonight with me and you will have new homework today as well so get prepared for that. I'm really sorry I'm late sir. I was just on the phone to my mum and I just found out my my cat died. <laughs> Do you think that I care, Peter? You arrived to my lesson late. Consequently, you will have an after school detention today where you will be removing chewing gum from underneath the desks. But sir, please. Shut up, Peter. Sit down, all right? Because I have a class to teach. Pythagoras theorem, really easy. If you don't get it, you're a Dumbass. You want to get pi, once you get pi, multiply that by a right angle, 90 degrees. Easy shit, okay? If you don't get it, you're about as thick as Jason over there. <laughs> now that you know how to do it, I want question 19 done in your exercise books, okay? No talking. <sighs> Sir, um, please may I go to the toilet? Um, let me have a think. No, you have lunch in 30 minutes, now wait. Um, I want you to finish off that exercise sheet for homework, okay? As well as that, you've also got 34 my math tasks to finish. So good luck with those, boys. I would like everybody to finish all of the tasks and... John and Jason, what do you think you're doing? Uh, sorry, sir. The lunch bell just went, so I thought that it was... Time to leave. The bell does not dismiss you, okay? I do. I am the teacher around here. The next secondary school problem is something that only really boys have experienced. Well, I hope so. And um, that's getting a uh, little, little stiffy in your trousers. Normally there is no reason that this occurs. I mean, you could literally just be sat in the middle of a maths lesson, just minding your own business. All of a sudden you look down and there's a snake trying to escape your school trousers. Most of the time you had to do that little trouser pocket trick where you stuck your hand in your pocket, fiddled about for a bit, trying to like rearrange it. Eric, my 
by G. What's the answer to question four? <laughs> You're still on that one, mate. I finished that like 10 minutes ago. Did you not even revise the volume of a stem leaf diagram last night? <laughs> Me, do homework? Nah, mate. I spent the whole weekend spanking the monkey, if you know what I mean. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I know what you mean. Okay, class. So your time for this question is now up. What we are going to do now is simply go through the question. Silly me, I believe I've uh, dropped my pen. As I was saying, I hope you have all completed question four on your worksheet because I'm going to get one of you to come up with me and uh, demonstrate to the class how this is done. Uh, let me see. Um... Eric, you did wonders on the My Mouse homework, completed it all, 10 out of 10. Do you mind coming up to the front and just uh, showing the class how this is done? Oh yeah, miss, um, yeah, I can't right now. Maybe you could like choose someone else in the class or something. What do you mean, silly boy? Come up to the front and show the class how this is done. No, miss, honestly, um, I don't actually think I can answer the question. Come up now, Eric, come on, you're wasting valuable lesson time. What on earth is that? I thought it would be a lot bigger. I thought it was big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, look. My G Eric, yeah, he's got an erection. Man's name's Eric Shun. <laughs> Eric Shun. <laughs> Eric The next problem is a hard one, quite literally. And that is... <laughs> Pedo teachers. Most schools have at least one of these teachers. Don't ask me how they originally got the job, okay? But everyone knows full well that they're a nonce. It's normally easy to identify these teachers because they look, smell, and sound like a kitty lover. If that does describe your teacher, then please avoid after school revision sessions, detentions, and the PE changing rooms. Mr. Jones, uh, could I get some help on this question? It's about the human body. You want some of my help then, Peter, eh? Well, I'll come over now and uh, assist you, eh? <laughs> Thanks, sir. Uh, you're right, sir. Um, stuck on this question here that talks about the anatomy of the human body. I just wondered if you could maybe just like touch on it a bit. Oh, Peter, I can uh, certainly touch on something. I mean, the human body as well. That's my specialty. Well, yeah, Mr. Jones, I mean, after all, you are a science teacher. <laughs> that is correct, Peter. Now, uh, let's get you started on this question, eh? Alright, so it's this one here that talks about the male reproductive system, and it says about how... Looks like it's lunchtime then, eh, kids? Make sure to finish the homework, though, boys and girls. I want pictures of you in your bedroom. We'll just um, finish the question tomorrow, Mr. Jones. I mean, I'm sure you want to get some lunch or something. Oh no, Peter. Don't you worry, sunshine. I've got plenty of time for you. Plus, I have my lunchtime snack right here. A very small young sausage. Now if you just stand up and uh, pop those school trousers off, then... Um... The last and final secondary school problem does sound stupid, however, is opening a packet of chewing gum. Don't ask me why, but if you do this, it will cause immense chaos within the classroom, and that's from both students and teachers. If one of your mandem prees that you've got chewing gum, then just know that the whole rest of the classroom is going to find out and ask for one. And if the teacher finds out, then best be know that you're getting a lecture about chewing gum, and as well as that, it's also going in the bin. Jason's got chewing gum! Go on, Jason, lad, give us one, please. And me too, Jason, because we're basically fam. I sat next to you in maths for time. You sat next to me in maths once, mate. You're lying, mate, now f give me a chewing gum. Okay, this is the only ever time, and next time you have chewing gum, you're giving it to me, okay? Jason, is that chewing gum I see you eating? No, honestly, miss, I have no chewing gum whatsoever. 
Not only is that against school policy, but it's also very dangerous. A guy that went to this school actually was chewing gum in lesson, my lesson, and he swallowed it, okay? It was stuck in his stomach for four years, and then he died, because it was in his stomach. Anyways guys, hopefully you did go on to enjoy the video. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like. That would be much appreciated. It shows me you want to see more videos like this in the future. As well as this, they also take so long to make. Uh, and I'm not exaggerating, they literally take so long. Also, if you are new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this, then please be sure to subscribe with post notifications on and you will be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Anyways, as I said, hopefully you did enjoy the video. This has been James and I'm out. Peace.